And it doesn't get much better than this. We are in the gorgeous Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. For our contestants, it's the trip of a lifetime as we are welcomed to a beautiful island paradise. What a wonderful welcome to Puerto Rico from delicious pineapple drinks to music and wonderful people. We're so excited to be here. Whatever floats your boat, this island has it all. From great beaches, culture and sport, to history and spectacular scenery. Once a Spanish colony, Puerto Rico is now home to over three million people. It's a vibrant, colorful destination, and we can't wait to start exploring. From our lovely base at the spectacular Hyatt Regency Grand Hotel on Cocoa Beach, we set out to explore this beautiful and welcoming island. But where to start? How about a delicious local drink? It's really sweet. I just got brain freeze and tingles in my nose. And a boat trip to Matalagata, a mangrove island off the south coast of Puerto Rico. We're given a great welcome with delicious food and the choice of just kicking back or getting a little bit more active. We just had the most wonderful time here in Matalagata. The food, the ambience, the music, everything was exceptional. A trip to San Juan is also a top priority. It is home to some of the greatest museums that really capture the history of the island. We are visiting the Museo de las Americas and when, when, how you can see, it's very big, it's very colorful. Actually interesting because a lot of their culture is similar to my culture because in the Cayman Islands we're only a few hours away from here and I'm learning that we're more similar than we are different. Hi world, we've come to San Juan and the tourist board here have kindly gifted us a passport of Puerto Rico so we can mark all the places that we get to visit and obviously Miss World is in San Juan this year and we got a little Miss World sticker right on San Juan. We took some time to visit a historic site from less happy times. I promise I will never be late again, I promise. This former prison is now thankfully disused. This used to be the prisons. In that cage, there were more than 10 people in there. Other people that used to be here for a long, long time in short, uh, little space. Ponce is Puerto Rico's second city on the south coast of the island. Overlooking the city is the historic Cruceta de Vigia, which stands as a monument to the watchmen who were tasked with protecting the town from pirates and invaders. Ponce is a beautiful place and also has some stunning Catalan-inspired architecture like the Castillo Serrat. Coming from an island myself, I understand just how important tourism is as an industry in a country and that is why I am so happy to showcase the beauty of Puerto Rico. Ponce is also rich in cultural assets, which means that there's plenty to see and do. This is a station bomba and I love the way they've conserved it and this truck that you guys actually see here is a fire truck that is more than 100 years old. This has been a great day for strolling around, but now the tempo is about to get a bit faster. So it was so fantastic to have a salsa lesson here in Ponce, in the open space. It gave us so much energy and power to go on for this tour, so, so excited. And if you want to keep up the speed, Toro Verde has some of the longest zip lines in the world. And we are in to ride the second longest zip line in the entire world. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. <laughs> A little nervous, but that's good. That's good. So we conquered the monster. I can't believe I did that. We did it. By total contrast, we also visited El Junque, the only natural rainforest in the United States. It's my first time to visit like such a place. It's so wonderful. I've never seen something like this before. We have these magnificent trees, beautiful waterfalls. It is absolutely stunning. It's now a major must-see destination. A nearby river cruise is a great way to see the area. It's very beautiful. We don't have this in France, so it's uh, discovering new, new things in nature. It's pretty cool. Other highlights included a trip home for the Puerto Rican contestant to Miss World, to Naranjito, where she did her Beauty with a Purpose project. 
feel so happy with a lot of emotions because this is my home and I will never imagine all the world is going to be here today. Quisiera niño besarte. We were made very welcome and enjoyed music from young performers she had worked with. We also attended the opening of an art gallery in Old San Juan. Everything on display is presented digitally. We are at the Lighthouse NFT Smart Gallery in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is the grand opening. As you can see, people are still Finishing the polishing touches, just a matter of weeks, we have renovated, um, we've kept the historical elements, but we have brought the digital world into the physical. And we have some incredible artists that are coming, uh, Logan Paul, Marcel Van Louis. And then there's the nightlife. Puerto Rico is an island that knows how to party. Our contestants had the best time of their lives on a night out in Rio Grande. Yeah. Puerto Rico is somewhere very special to visit. The local tourist industry has worked hard to make this a welcoming and exciting destination with loads to see and do. This is the first time for me in Puerto Rico. So I was very excited to witness the seas right in front of my eyes. I wasn't expecting anything because I've never been anywhere so everything is nice and I'm definitely coming back to Puerto Rico.